The Eiffel Tower is one of the most famous architectural structures ever created in the world. It is the symbol of France that attracts millions of tourists to Paris every year. Here are 10 fascinating facts about the Eiffel Tower that will fascinate you with its amazing history. It was the tallest man-made structure for 41 years. The Eiffel Tower rose to a height of 312 meters. When the Eiffel Tower was completed on March 31, 1889, it became the tallest man-made structure in existence. 41 years later, the Chrysler Building skyscraper in New York City was built, which exceeded the height of the Eiffel Tower. An antenna was added to the Eiffel Tower, increasing its height to 324 meters, so that it surpassed the height of the Chrysler Building, again becoming the tallest structure in the world. Soon other skyscrapers began to be built in the United States, again displacing the Eiffel Tower from first place. Although the Eiffel Tower was the second tallest structure at the time, it remained France's tallest man-made structure until 1973. Then a military transmitter was built that was taller than the Eiffel Tower. As of 2021, the Eiffel Tower is still one of the largest structures in France, not counting the military transmitter and the viaduct. 2. There is an apartment inside the tower. There is a secret apartment on the third floor of the Eiffel Tower. Although Gustav Eiffel did not design the tower, he influenced what should be included in the design. One of the features was that he had his own apartment inside the tower with a living room, bathroom, kitchen, and separate toilet. He used it as a place to receive guests such as Thomas Edison, and he was often approached by wealthy Parisians who wanted to rent this apartment. The apartment is open to visitors, but as a museum with wax figures of Gustav Eiffel and Thomas Edison. 3. The Eiffel Tower was only supposed to exist for 20 years. The Eiffel Tower was originally built by Eiffel to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution. It participated in the Exposition Universelle, also known as the World's Fair of 1889. The tower was designed to stand for 20 years and then, after the exhibition, people should have lost interest in it and it should have been dismantled. But it stayed. The tower was of great scientific interest because of its height and the possibility of turning it into a transmitter for radio signals. As a result, the tower was left and it became an important element in the transmission of radio signals. The first public radio program was broadcast from the Eiffel Tower in 1925. For the Eiffel Tower once had a post office. There was a small post office on the first floor of the Eiffel Tower. Unfortunately, it no longer exists, but in the past you could send a letter or postcard directly from the Eiffel Tower. The novelty allowed visitors to send letters home to friends or relatives directly from this unique location. Letters and postcards were glued with a special Eiffel Tower stamp and sent from there to the addressees. France's first illustrated postcard featuring the Eiffel Tower was printed locally and then mailed from this post office. 5. The Eiffel Tower was once yellow. Over the years, the Eiffel Tower has been painted in different colors to match the fashion trends of Paris. When the tower was first opened in 1889, it was red-brown. Ten years later, a coat of yellow paint was added, which gave it a yellow-brown hue. The Eiffel Tower was then chestnut-brown before being painted its current color. The color of today's Eiffel Tower is a paint specially mixed in 1968 and called Eiffel Tower Brown. The Eiffel Tower is repainted every seven years, and about 60 tons, 61,099 liters, of paint is used to paint it. 6. Under the Eiffel Tower is a bunker. Under the southern pillar of the Eiffel Tower is an old military bunker. It is said to have been built along with a secret tunnel connecting it to the École Militaire Military School in Paris. Although the bunker remains a mystery to the public, it is open for pre-booked tours in small groups. Part of it has been converted into a museum where visitors can learn more about the Eiffel Tower. It has unique photographs of the early stages of construction of the famous Parisian landmark. 7. The Eiffel Tower's changes are affected by weather conditions. The Eiffel Tower is made of iron, which means that the structure itself changes as the temperature changes. In cold weather, the metal can shrink by almost 15 centimeters, which means that the tower gets a little smaller. In hot weather, the metal expands under the influence of heat and records show that in the past, 
the tower increased by 18 centimeters. The Eiffel Tower was designed as a hollow structure to be resistant to the wind. However, when the wind is strong, the tower moves from side to side by about 2.5 to 7.6 centimeters. It also moves on a hot day when the iron expands and becomes more flexible. 8. The Eiffel Tower was once the largest billboard in the world. One would hardly think of the Eiffel Tower as a structure designed for advertising, but it has been used for many purposes throughout its existence. From 1925 to 1936 the Eiffel Tower was illuminated by 250,000 light bulbs in the form of the inscription Citron. The French car manufacturer used the Eiffel Tower as a billboard to advertise its company, Citron. The company's name, consisting of letters 30.5 meters long each, was illuminated from top to bottom. The advertisement was so bright that it could be seen from a distance of 32 kilometers. In 1927, the American pilot Charles Lindbergh used the bright lights as a beacon for landing after a solo transatlantic flight. 9. The Nazis tried to take over the Eiffel Tower. During the German occupation of Paris during World War II, an attempt was made to place a swastika flag on the tower. The tower was already closed to the public and the elevator cables were cut to restrict access to it. The Nazis tried to attach a large flag to the top of the Eiffel Tower to demonstrate their takeover of Paris. The flag was so large that it immediately flew off and had to be replaced by a smaller flag. 10. The structure of the Eiffel Tower is held together by 2,500,000 rivets. The number may seem large, but for a structure that weighs a total of 10,100 tons, it is not surprising. During the construction 18,038 iron elements were used, and the frame alone weighs 7,300 tons. All these elements are held together by 2,500,000 rivets. The tower was a landmark, demonstrating the ability to build incredible iron structures in a very short time. It took only two years, two months and five days to build the tower, which was revolutionary for its time.